up to breakfast! Hi, yogis! I'm Pogi the Yogi, and I'm so glad you're here. Oh, look at this! This is a really bright yellow. Look at that! It's a new t-shirt. It says Bratfest. Oh, I've heard of Bratfest. That's a really big event here in Madison. You know, yogis, I'm actually going to go and stop by Bratfest and meet with Tim over there because his family is the one who started Bratfest several years ago. And I'm excited because I get to talk with him and learn all about Bratfest. And there's so many fun activities. You want to come with me? <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm going to get my shoes. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me. I hope we're going to have fun. I really enjoy these adventures together. Let's go. <laughs> Pogi the Yogi Man, hey. how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Wow, welcome to Bratfest. Thank you. This is incredible, yeah. Tim. What is Bratfest? Well, Bratfest, uh, this is our 41th year. It was started by my dad. Fast forward 41 years later, we've got about 125,000 people that are gonna go through here. We've got a kid zone, we've got a petting zoo, we've got live music. What do you love most about Bratfest? The thing that I love most is the community coming together, like all the kiddos and the families coming here, you know, and, and doing community. We all know we're here raising money together. But one of the things that I really love is the, just the volunteers. We'll have about 3,000 volunteers this weekend that help put Bratfest on for the community. So it's wow. amazing. Yeah. So, you're, so this is all a big fundraiser for charities? Yes. Or? Yeah. So we'll have 100 different charities, um, 501c3s. It, it, it's amazing. And um, it, you can just go talk to any of the volunteers and find out where they're from, how many years they've been here. Everything that uh, is raised here at Bratfest stays right in this community and does good things in this community. It's awesome. Wow, Tim, I am so impressed with all the community, all the events, the activities. There's just so much here and it can be a little overwhelming. It's a lot to take in. I definitely know when I'm feeling overwhelmed, something that helps me is I just take a few deep breaths. You want to try that with me? I'd love that. All right, sure. You. So just stand nice and tall and take a deep breath in and let it out. Deep breath in. Do one more deep breath in. And let it out. Whew, I'm feeling wow. pretty calm. How are you feeling, Tim? Wow, I, that feels amazing. Yeah, it feels yeah, so, so nice to just kind of calm our nervous system. Wow. And, and you know what? Feeling a little more calm now. I'm just, I'm really inspired by all this energy and all this enthusiasm and community. I kind of want to, um, you want to create a brat fest pose with me? I'd love to. All right, let's so let's, let's think about this brat fest pose. So we need to have brat. So let's take a big stand up nice and tall, big step like this. Let's get a brat in one hand. What's better than one brat? Two brats. Two brats. Okay. And let's take them up to the sky. Big wide step. And brat fest. Brat fest. <laughs> yes. That Thank you so much. I, yeah, yeah, I'm so glad so to much. have you here. Really yeah. appreciate you having yeah. me on. We're gonna have so much fun here today. Yeah. I just, I'm so excited. Thank yeah. you for doing everything you do for the community and just sharing about the mission. Enjoy Bratfest. Uh, it's uh, we've got fantastic weather all weekend long, and so so thankful that you stopped by. Uh, thank you, Tim. You're I appreciate welcome. it. Yeah. All right. All right. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you.
service for being here. We're going to do a little bit of yoga. There you go. Nice. Are you ready? Yeah. Take that in. And check it out. Wow, yo guys, that was so much fun. Broadfest was incredible. So many things to see and really nice people to meet. And I really enjoyed just learning all about brats and kind of like hot dogs and all that great yummy food. And I really liked hearing about the community and how much Broadfest helps different organizations and people in the community. It was just so fun to see everyone coming together and Wow, the activities, <laughs> there's so many wonderful things. I saw rock climbing, I saw a concert, I saw a petting zoo. I mean, just, there's a lot to take in, but I am definitely inspired to bring that back to the mat. So, let's do a little yoga. We'll do some Bratfest themed yoga. If you're you know, watching at home or at school or anywhere else and you wanna follow along, great. If you've got a mat, that'll work. If not, you can use a blanket or just, you know what, say this spot on the ground, this is my spot today. And you can follow along and we'll do a little yoga together. So I'm gonna take my socks off so I don't slip on my yoga mat. I'll put these away over here with my shoes. Alrighty, let's get started. Whew. I really liked what Tim and I did whenever we just took those deep breaths to kind of calm down because I know I'm feeling really excited after all that activity. So why don't you take some deep breaths with me? Let's stand nice and tall. Let your breath all the way out. And a big breath in. And let it out. Let's do another big breath in. And let it out. Big breath in. Hold it. Hold it. And let it out. Whew. I feel kind of relaxed, but I still feel excited. So that's really nice. You can use that anytime you feel like you could use a little time to calm down or just you know take a few moments to yourself and relax a little bit. Now, let's get started. Take a deep breath in, take your arms up toward the sky and shake it out. <laughs> One more time, arms up and shake it out. <laughs> Alrighty, next up, roll your wrists like this. Other way, and relax. Now, as you breathe in, lift your arms up high toward the sky, and as you breathe out, move them back and down. Up, back and down. One more time, up, back and down. Let's go the other way now. Up, forward and down. Up, forward and down. One more time, up, forward and down. Slight bend in your knees, and let's just gently roll our heads one way. And the other way. So what we're doing is just warming up and relax. 
That just means we're getting ready to do something. So we're gonna loosen our bodies a little bit. We're gonna move some to get nice and warmed up and then we'll do some more yoga. So let your breath out. Breathe in, arms up. As you breathe out, reach down toward your toes. Halfway lift, which is where you take your palms on your shins and look forward. And then forward fold. Breathe in, arms all the way up. And bend your elbows, spread your fingers. This is called cactus pose. Inhale, arms up, hands together. This time as you breathe out, bend one way. You feel that stretch in your side body as you keep reaching up and over to the side. Breathe in back to the middle and breathe out the other way. The stretch is right here in the side of your body. Keep reaching up and over. Back to the middle and release down. I had so much fun with Tim making up a brat fest pose. So let's do that now. In one hand, one brat, and what's better than one brat? Two brats. Take your legs out wide, deep breath in, and brat fest pose. <laughs> that was kind of silly, but it was fun just making up in the moment with 10. Let's do another piece of food. Oh, I saw some yummy corn on the cob, so let's do corn on the cob pose. So stand nice and tall, reach up as high as you can, make the tippy top of the corn cob and peel the corn cob. Or maybe they call it shucking the corn cob where they take the little green parts back. I don't know, but I've seen it and it looks pretty cool. So let's try that again. Arms up and peel the corn cob. <laughs> oh, I really enjoyed getting to see the animals there and I thought they were so nice and friendly. Let's do horse pose. Take your legs out wide, stand nice and tall, hands together in front of your heart, Steady breath in. As you breathe out, begin to squat down like you're sitting on top of a horse. <laughs> Whew, stand up. Then make your way all the way down to your hands and knees. Those little piggies were so cute. We're gonna do pig pose. So, little pig on hands and knees, tiny, tiny tail. And what sound does a pig make? <laughs> That one was definitely a little silly. Let's stand up. I really enjoyed seeing all the musicians up on stage playing music. I thought that was really fun to see. I bet they might have been a little nervous being up there in front of all those people, but they seem to do such a good job. I really liked feeling that energy and that music. So let's do guitar pose. So step forward with your one leg, other leg back. This is also known as lunge, but today we're gonna make it guitar pose. So stand nice and tall. And let's grab our guitar. So this is the neck of the guitar. Let's get our pick. Let's reach up as high as we can. And <laughs> I don't know how to play guitar, but it sure looks fun. Let's switch sides. So other foot forward, back toes are straight ahead. Let's grab the neck of our guitar, hold it up. Let's get our pick in our hand. Let's reach up high and <laughs> I might need to do some guitar lessons if I'm gonna play. Whew. Oh, the rock climbing wall looked really fun and also a little scary when you get up that high, but I noticed they had the, the I don't know what you call them, but like the harnesses and the ropes and they're being really safe, but that made me inspired to make a rock climbing pose. So stand nice and tall and let's reach up as high as you can with one arm to grab that spot in the rock wall and then reach up with your leg and pull yourself up. Let's do the other side. Reach up with the other arm. Lift your leg up and pull yourself up. <laughs> so many fun poses coming out of Bratfest. This is just a really inspiring place. Let's go surfing next. So these toes out this way, these toes this way, arms up and then look this way. Na 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 na. <laughs> Flip this hand over, take it up, back. And then the other way, up and over. Stand up back to that surfing pose. As you breathe in, bring your arms together and straighten that front leg. Breathe out, back down. Breathe in and down, in and down. Let's go the other way. So these toes this way, these toes this way. Arms up and let's go surfing. Now flip this front hand over, take it up 
and toward the back. And let's reverse, go the other way, up and over. Back to surfing. As you breathe in, straighten that front leg, bring your arms together overhead, and breathe out, back down. Breathe in, and out, down, in, and down. <laughs> We're gonna do pogey pose next, which is where you stand nice and tall, hands together, and start to put all your weight in this leg right here, and then with your other foot, you can bring it above your ankle with your toes on the ground. You can stay here, this is a great spot. This is called tree pose. You can also bring that foot up to your calf, all the way up to your thigh, pogey style. <laughs> it's okay if you fall out because that's a little bit of a tricky one and you know what you can just try again so we'll do the other side stand nice and tall hands together bring this heel above that ankle standing nice and tall toes still on the ground stay here if you'd like you can also come up to your calf all the way up to your thigh and pokey style <laughs> Ooh, well, thanks for trying those with me. It was kind of fun. Let's have a seat. I'll do just a couple more things. So you can sit crisscross, however comfortable for you. Let your breath out. Inhale your arms up toward the sky. As you breathe out, one hand comes behind you. The other hand comes to that knee or thigh, a gentle twist. Breathe in, arms up. And breathe out the other way. Breathe in, arms up. And breathe out, hands together. And release. Yogis, thank you so much for coming on these adventures with me. I hope you enjoy them. I know I have a lot of fun. And I really appreciate it when you come with me and we go on these adventures together. It makes me feel like you know, we have a, a community and that's a lot of fun. And I really appreciated what Tim said about how important community is to him. So I want to say thank you. And yogis, I want you to know that you are wonderful as you are right now. My name is Pogi the Yogi and I'll see you next time. Bye.